I don't think I even meant to become a cyclist. It just kind of happened. I don't even know that I would go as far as to say I am like a 100% professional athlete at this point. It's funny to look at because obviously like once you see a certain amount of success it's easy to look back and be like that was the right choice to make. At the time I feel like it has almost always felt like perhaps a dumb choice or <laughs> like <laughs> are not the most obvious or not the most sensible I would say. I left college early. I took a next to minimum wage job making coffee, which turned out to be like a great thing for me and it turned into something that was so much more than I thought it was at the time. At least in the beginning, it was never about consciously making all these decisions to put me where I am now. I think it would be weird to like try to set it up that way when in retrospect, it was me just like not knowing what the heck I wanted to do and that was an easy way to kind of like push what I saw as like real life and real future to the sidelines so that I could just ride my bike more while I figured it out. Which of course, you know, then turned into me riding my bike as the real thing, which is amazing. I don't think I could have planned that. I also don't think it, you know, would have turned out necessarily any better happened any sooner had I consciously been like, yes, I'm going to drop everything and become a professional cyclist and these are the things I need to do in order to do so. It may have happened a little sooner. <laughs> may have floundered a little less and <laughs> had a little less anxiety about everything. A lot of it, I think, is just your own perception of what it means for something to be long or something to be difficult. I would say I've definitely been challenged more you know, by myself than by any situation I've been put in. I think that's important. I think it's important to get to mile 150 of Kansas and be in a space where you've ridden that far before and in a space where 50 miles left is a small amount of miles to have to, you know, get done. I think too, a lot of it is just comfort with the unknown. Um, I'm not the smartest. <laughs> I like head out of my house and I won't have enough food or I'll like forget to bring money, you know, maybe have a single CO2 and I'll just head out there and rely on my own luck. Somebody can be stronger than you, but like less prepared to handle crazy things. Like there's no way to have any idea what's going to happen. There's no way to like plan for all the situations that are going to arise in 200 miles or 150 miles or however far we're talking. I think that's also what pulls me towards gravel though, is not really knowing and having to kind of mentally be totally fine with that. I do know that I'm like happiest when I am like a little bit uncomfortable and when I am being challenged. I think probably if I put my foot down and actually pursued what I was, you know, the best at, that progress might be a little bit more immediate, but I personally would be less satisfied.